the pragmatics of getting out the paints or sculpting, psychology, comparative psychology and how that relates to the artwork, a political science, international relations are my interest. I look at the subaltern identity, people that are on the periphery of society. A philosophy explains some of the issues in relation to the core uh, for the other fields. They don't want to deal with it, so philosophers deal with that. They're usually logicians, so there are different areas in contemporary philosophy. I look at it as these thought experiments, it's my interest, uh, because it's more illustrative and it's not so analytical. It more looks at the intuitions behind the analysis. Previous blogs I, I will talk about, I've left this artwork for four years and then I'll get back to it. And Often we think in popular culture what it is, is you, you get out there, for example, you're a landscape painter, within a day you choose an area, you've got your, you, you do your plein air, outdoor painting, it'll be done within a day. Once you've started, there should be a completion to that. I kind of take the more endurance approach, and that's part of my history, in a sense, personal history. I liked doing long distance running in the 80s, and I've done some other long haul traveling through India for over half a year with a cycle. So the artwork takes five years, always ongoing, you know, for five years or more, or eight years, some of them. I will get back to them. I've got a whole shipping container full of bits and pieces. So, you know, I'll, I'll feel, oh yes, I'll work on that one again. Then that's, um, that's the process of strong intentional states. So one way you could see that sort of the artist sort of persona is one in relation to a kind of a strong intentional state. So, you know, how does a sense of identity develop? I might start something off like a canvas and just throw the paint on there. I've got the material in front of me like I've got this gouache paint here. And so the long endurance model for those sort of people who don't find meaning out of the planning model, then the outcomes can create a sense of meaning in itself. And that then could be a scaffold, an emergent property. And that emergent property is, is in itself then a scaffold. It could be some images, shapes, that have some sense of meaning, that images start to emerge. So we start to see that meaning is an emergent property rather than an intrinsic property. Uh, it's very strong for our ancestors, you know, why they picked up these things to, to throw on a cave because obviously that had relevance. It was a place of residence and they would return there probably after a season. So it was a sense of continuity and identity uh, which had a self-referential property.